because you've done this pretty much the whole time here. When you look at radicals, you must think of them, it's just like adding variables. They have to be alike for you to add them together. Okay, in other words, this. If you have the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2, you can't do anything with that. Okay? There's nothing that you can do with that because they have to be like. Okay, now if you have the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2, those, just like if they were x's, if you had x plus x, what would you get? 2x. So the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 is 2 square roots of 2. Okay, they're just like adding like terms. Now sometimes, though, you're going to have to simplify something. For example, you know, let's, go, let's go in with both feet first. Is it feet first? If you have 3 times 8 times 3 times the square root of 8m cubed plus 2 times the square root of 2m plus 3 times the square root of 2m. Can they ask you to simplify this? Okay, step number one is you have to simplify each term. Okay, which luckily for you, those two are, you can't break them down. But what can you do with 3 times the square root of 8m cubed? Well, if you're doing it the old-fashioned way, breaking this down, you get 3 times the square root of 8 breaks into the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. m cubed breaks into the square root of m times the square root of m times the square root of m, right? Looking for double groups, what happens there? 2 square roots of 2 give you a normal 2. 2 square roots of m give you a normal m. These two there's no matches for, so you're left with um, you're left with 6m on the outside of 2 times m. Are you with me on that? Put the two square root things back underneath the radical, multiply the stuff on the outside, 3 times 2 times m is that. Spaniel? Then why wouldn't it be like three eighths because it's cubed? I have no idea what that means. Three like you put three two, why would it be three eighths? Because this cubed only goes with the M. Unless this was in parentheses, it doesn't go with the M. Okay. And to that you're adding two times two times the square root of M plus three times the square root of two M. These two easily go together, correct? If you have, what's that going to give you? Something up here. If you have two square roots of two m's and add another three square roots of two m's, you're going to get, Jeremy, five square roots of two m. Now, can I put these together? Are the radicals the same? Yes. Yes, they are. Unfortunately, though, the numbers in front of them are not. Okay, so I can't put six and five together. Okay, you can't just say that's 11m, it's not. The only way you could rewrite this any differently than 6m times that is you could say this is going to be 6m plus 5 all times 2 times the square root of m. I'm not sure they do that in the book, do they? Oh, they do. Why did I have 6? Did I do something wrong? Oh, I just wrote, I had a different problem there. You can't put these together because they're not like terms, but you can't put them in parentheses and say they all get multiplied by the square root of 2m. Happy? Let's do another one just because. Maybe I'll give you a chance to do another one. How about 4 times the square root of 9? No, I don't want to do that. Sorry. What one do I want to do? Yeah, this one. Write down this one. Practice letter F. If you're following along in the book. Uh, negative 11 times the square root of 10a plus 3 times the square root of 
250a plus one the square root of 160a. See if you can't warm your way to the end of that problem. Break them down into what their simplest forms are and see if there's any like terms. It was reasonably sure they have the right answer. It doesn't have an answer now. Christ, you stopped or you got an answer? Yeah. All right, Jack, what'd you come up with? I got uh, four times the square root of. 10a plus 2 times square root of 15a. <laughs> Christ? Nine, negative 11 plus 19 in parentheses times the square root of 10. Uh, right. You can wait, do you have a negative 11 plus 19? Yeah. You can put those together. Those are like mm -hmm. negative 11 and 19 will give you 8 times the square root of 10a. Show me over. Yeah, negative two times square root of twenty-five. Negative two? Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. This one you can't break down. And again, as you get older, you kind of see this. This is the square root of twenty-five times the square root of ten times the square root of a. There is a square root of twenty-five, so you can stop there and say that's five. These aren't going to break down any farther. And you get two times five, but they're not going to have matches. So for this one, you get plus fifteen times the square root of ten a. Correct. Everybody get that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, doesn't 25 break down the square root of 5 and 5 times square root of 5? Nice. All right, same thing over here. This is going to break down into the square root of 16 times the square root of 10 and times the square root of a, and that has a perfect square of 4. So it's going to be plus 4 times the square root of 10a. Those are all your square roots of 10a. They're all like terms, so you can take a negative 11 plus 15 of them gives you a 4 to the good. 4 to the good plus another 4 to the good is 8.